This week's question of the week comes from Helen. She says, my child has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and has suffered from chronic constipation for the past four years and only has a bowel movement every four to five days. Now, again, this is quite common in children with gut-related disorders and, of course, totally unfair for that individual to go through this discomfort. Now, I have children also coming to see me, and one poor boy was passing a bowel, a stool, which had a diameter the size of a tennis ball, and he was going every six to seven days. Now, think of the emotional aspects of this. A mother having a baby goes through a period of discomfort, of course. This is exactly the same experience that the poor child would be going through and it's totally unfair. So let's identify whether these are physical issues that are causing the constipation or emotional issues. I for one, if I was passing a stool with a diameter the size of a tennis ball, would not be very keen to go and try and pass a bowel movement. Other issues to be very aware of, let's look at the diet. High refined carbohydrate, low fiber diets are problematical. Food intolerances may be the issue. Dehydration could be a problem. Many children do not drink enough water. We are, remember, 72% water, and we must keep our bodies hydrated. So think of ideas to get more fluids into your child. Dysbiosis is a problem for many. An imbalance of good to bad bacteria in the gut with the likelihood of parasites, fungal opportunists and even viral issues present in the gut. We look at the treatments for constipation. You could go to your GP, they may, may give you liquid paraffin. Tasty. They may give you Movicol or Lactulose. Now remember, these are things that would increase transit time of stool. And in doing that also reduces time for nutrient absorption, yet we want to get our child better and we don't want them to continue to suffer with chronic constipation. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is commonly out of sync in our children. Low levels of serotonin will lead to low levels of melatonin, so look for sleep disturbances. Serotonin, of course, keeps us wonderfully happy. So if your child is miserable, very low, mood swings, irritable, but also suffers from constipation, serotonin is in part responsible for squeezing the bowel, so pushing the stool down the tube and out. One of the main products that I use for children who have constipation is oxy powder. Now, I give commonly one capsule for the, each, of, each child in the morning with breakfast. And hopefully that will induce, with um, the 24 hours, 48 hour period, a bowel movement. If it doesn't, then we can increase to two. But don't rely on this. Address the issues, as I said, low fiber diet, food intolerances, dehydration, dysbiosis. All of these things may have impact on your child and cause the constipation. So just like Movicol or Lactulose uh, or liquid paraffin, those are there to treat the symptom. This, in a way, is exactly the same, but predominantly, I think, less toxic and equally, in my opinion, as effective. Coming up after the break. Organic seaweed for human food is an important new industry in Britain, which Sea Greens began 13 years ago. It really helps restore the daily balance of nutrients, especially for picky eaters with a limited diet. 
Sea greens can quickly and easily be included every day in a food or drink. The nutritional benefits in autism are discussed on our website, seagreens.co.uk slash autism. Autism, a practical guide to improving your child's quality of life, written by Polly and Jonathan Tommy, will give you the confidence and knowledge to tackle the problems you face and find solutions and treatments that will work for your child. Polly and Jonathan tell their story and show that it is possible to improve the quality of life for autistic children. They've done it and you can too. So pick up your copy today. It's available from all good bookshops and also online from Amazon.co.uk. Okay, so I'm here in Texas. After much demand, I'm here meeting Rupert Isaacson, and then we're going to talk about the horse boy, we're going to talk about the journey they've been on, and we're going to show you some of the beautiful, beautiful horses. So let's go and find Rupert. Rupert Isaacson. Hello. Miss Rupert and his horse. Which horse is your This is Clue. Clue. Okay. Go from there. And we're going to see some tricks now, I think. Yeah, Rupert, I'll... explain what you're doing. Well, what I'm doing is uh, some, some basic trick work, which... Um,